Hey, it's Roger. I'm on location downtown Waxhaw at Cork and Ale. About to meet a colleague. A couple of my YouTube subscribers walked in. I love that. How cool is that? Uh, guys, I was at an event today with Classica Homes, and uh, I'm just impressed. In fact, uh, Rodney Jones and Denise O'Farrell and I were at a meeting last week at the Classica headquarters and got invited to this construction lunch and learn. And uh, Graydon Jackson, uh, one of Classica's lead construction guys, way up the food chain, great guy. He was at Simonini when uh, CEO uh, Bill Saint was also at Simonini, high-end custom builder. And then Jessica Lundgren was there as well today. She's their on your lot specialist and great person. And uh, shout out to Kyle, uh, who is a sales manager up in Huntersville. Hey, I learned some stuff today that was pretty exciting. Just want to pass it on to you. Uh, <clears throat> great mentioned how construction of a house, and by the way, at the end of this video, stick around for my playlist called, or is it a podcast? called uh, YouTube lets us take playlists and make them into podcasts. Uh, it's called Building from the Ground Up. If you're a subscriber, you know this, that uh, I, my wife and I built a house with Taylor Morrison a few years ago, but we never moved into it. But I was there every day, just like you'll be there every day when you're building your house. And it's pretty exciting because it's 50 videos of what to expect. David, Liz, you might enjoy watching that series. Uh, building from the Ground Up, starting with the, the dirt, the slab, and all the way up. So, uh, Graydon mentioned that there are seven stages in construction. The foundation stage, I'm gonna get back to that. Framing windows and roofing is another stage. Rough trades is another stage. Fourth is insulation, exterior veneers and drywall. Fifth is interior finishes and trim. Sixth is trade trims, and then the driveway. And he talked about how that's not really a critical path. You could pour that here uh, or there, but you gotta pour it somewhere, and they shoot for it during the trade trims, you know, things like countertops, backsplash, light fixtures. One thing I, I noticed about Classica that came up today, a lot of homes, even the one we just moved into, they put that big sheet mirror up, big plate mirror, and a lot of times you take it down, patch the holes, and buy a framed mirror. Well, they say, why even do that? Just leave it without a mirror, and then we'll adjust the uh, light fixtures. They squiggle the wall, uh, the wires behind the wall so they can pull it out wherever it needs to be. And, and, and you know, just let you pick out your own framed mirror, which is what most people are gonna do anyway. So that's trade trims and driveway. Number seven is paint touch up, then landscape, and then your final punch. Man, what a great builder this is. So here's something that you might, it, it was made clear to me today, and you might enjoy learning about it. Many production homes, if not most, are built with a monolithic slab, meaning that they box the, you know, they put that boxing around it, and then they dig out a perimeter footer, and then they pour all that in one pour. It's monolithic, and it pours the, not only the four inch slab, but it also pours, you know, the footers going around. And if there are any other little places that need more concrete, like eight inches instead of four, or 10 inches instead of four per the engineer, uh, they'll, they'll have a little extra pad there to carry the weight from all the way to the top to the load. So, but what they do at Classica is a stem wall slab. Now I know there are other builders that do it from time to time. Uh, sometimes the neighborhood or a municipality will require kind of a better look on the front of the house. We're here in Waxhaw over in Millbridge. Uh, don't know if those were stem walls, but they did require some brick over the concrete foundation instead of just showing concrete or parged concrete where they kind of rub it across. They required them, and it's a great look if you ever drive through Millbridge and notice how they have brick there uh, in around the foundation. It's a great look. But what is a stem wall slab? Well, instead of the way I just described a monolithic slab, by the way, that series is cool because I caught it when they had not only the uh, concrete truck there, but they had the big pump truck, and that pump truck was pumping concrete. I caught it live, it was pretty fun. So what they do with a stem wall slab is Instead of what I described, they'll build foundation blocks as if you were doing a crawl space. Foundation blocks, like concrete blocks, and then they will work inside of that before they pour. You know, they do plumbing and all kinds of runs in, 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 that, uh, in that slab. Well, in the stem wall slab, they don't pack it with just dirt because that could shift. Somebody could make a mistake that could re result in a, uh, a, 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 you know, a crack with a, you know, a disportionate there. 
uh, but it also could be uh, uh, gravel. Well, gravel's not so great either. They mentioned that they use rock because the rock self-compacts. And that really made sense to me because you do not want to have a problem after that concrete has been poured with every, all concrete will crack. But where you have a, uh-oh, this side went down and it pulled away here. So I just thought that was really fun learning about that. Another quick thing is that if it is a crawl space, they do a sealed crawl space. I know the house, that Toll Brothers house that my wife built so many years ago, we had just a regular crawl space with vents. Seems like a good idea, but then you got humidity, you got critters, and can cause issues. So uh, we ended up spending about 10 grand to do a transformation in the crawl space uh, to condition it. Well, they do that, if it's a crawl space, they condition it from day one. Uh, that's so smart. They spend some money, they condition it, uh, and they make it just where the temperature and the humidity is right. So one more thing I wanted to say that I think is brilliant about what Classica does in a basement lot. Uh, so often, you know, radon is an invisible gas. Next to lung cancer, radon uh, causes, next to cigarettes, radon is the second leading cause of lung cancer. I strongly advocate that you get a radon test uh, before you close. Some builders will mitigate and be happy to if there's an issue, if it's above four picocuries but just get it done for peace of mind. And I hope you're listening, Dave and Liz. Get, get the radon test, Rodney will tell you the same. Uh, but what I'll say to you is a, a smart builder like Classica does something very proactive uh, because oftentimes a basement will have it. I've had a couple of slab homes that had it, basement home that had it. Uh, some builders will help you with it, some builders won't. But here's what Classica does, which is so cool very inexpensive but smart fix. They design a chase coming from the basement up the wall through the first floor, second floor, up to the attic space. A little, probably a four inch, three, four inch PVC pipe that all you have to do if you get radon the first year, the 10th year, is then just mitigate. You already have the exit route for the gas and you put it under the slab. It sucks air out from under the slab and it pulls it up with a very small, old school fan that blows it out through, typically through a, a vent up through the roof. A passive radon vent. Now if you remember that, you're gonna really impress a ton of people at a cocktail party. So check it out guys. Well, I appreciate your patronage. Thank you to Classica for having this event today. And if you want more information, we'd love to be your buyer agent, 704-345-3400, and I'll see you in the next video.